In this video, I will talk about the new skill Odd Recovery in the context of AR Defense, especially for Restore Trap and Cave Line, because these strategies almost force turn 1 engagement, which is relevant for Odd Recovery that works on Odd Number Turns. Here, I, I will mainly cover Cave Line setups with Double Dancers. You have to assume this Yun is a second Triandra. Uh, this is a setup that I use during this week for my defense. But for the sake of this video, I am considering a 7 unit defense with double dancers. This is a possible setup. And another one that I will talk about. You will probably think that it is not possible to use two dancers and five cavalry units, which is two, because a seven slot unit needs to be one of these upcoming new defense mythics. But for the sake of your argumentation, you can, you know, think about Lean or Bernadetta is replaced by the new mythic. So instead of Lin or Bernadetta, it is the new mythic with the seven slot. And another problem here is maybe you will ask, why should we keep double dancers? I mean, why should we assume double dancer curve line when we know that there is a rotation bonus with respect to the AR defense mythic? This season now, this week, if you use Yun, you get less lift loss if you lose. And many players say if you don't use Yun, that's not good. We are forced to use Yun, but I don't like Yun, and I think Yun is bad. Sophie is bad also, and Duma is trash, Leaf is trash, um, every mythic other than Bramimon and Frazier is trash. We should not use them. Well, this is what people say. Again, no, I disagree. This is not how you should approach AR defense. You have probably heard about this Japanese guy who used Lost Castle map with formula across four different columns inflicting isolation with Brave Edel Guard and Instant Special Duo Alphonse. This guy is not afraid of minus 80 or minus 100 because typically you cannot beat this team. You just cannot do it. Thinking out of the box makes it possible to build very original, different defense and eventually anti-meta defense that works no matter the seasons. So if you think adding Yun, Sophie's Leaf makes your defense team weaker or breaks something, don't do this. It is a mistake. This is not a cav line, but I need to talk about this to illustrate better my argumentation so that you understand what I am trying to say. Um, I will probably upset several people, but I want to say, I want to be honest. If players stop complaining every single day about IS, and start thinking about their defense, how they approach either race, defense and offense, they will definitely improve over time, both offense and defense. Because in the future, new updates will be released with respect to either race. This is obvious. And not just either race, only power creep itself is enough reason for us 
to adapt our defense and offense to new dangers upcoming. We had Marita, then we had Fallen Ike, and then Brave Hector. Meanwhile, we also got Mila, who changed drastically the meta in Light Season. Dancers in IR offense made it very, very easy to succeed if a race tier 27, tier 28. Anyone can reach top tiers now. So this is the problem. New, I mean, power creep is needed because without power creep, the, the game is not changing. Nothing is changing and it will become boring over time by adding new and powerful units we have to adapt our defense to the new threats brave actor slays everything in in our offense so you have to make sure your defense is solid against brave actor but also considering brave ike because everyone has brave ike Everyone use Brave Ike too, so you have to consider these threats at the same time and adapt your strategies over time. So, if you accept and stop just complaining for a moment and take the time, energy to think about your defense, how to adapt you will improve. Complaining every single day is not, I mean, it will not make you better. If everyone now reaches, you know, tier 27, 28, I don't think this is because the level of average player has improved. It is because AR offense has become a joke. It's too easy now. So, uh, let's start the explanation of this map. Let's assume this is double Duma. Both have reposition. As Kitchen, both fighter. Eventually, Death Unity or Death Bond 4. One of them will have Deflect Melee and another a Defensive Seal. One corner of the map, you have two infantry units. Let's say for the sake of your argumentation, IS has already released Speed Death Unity. Both of these have Speed Death Unity. And they also have Damage Reduction B skill. And also, they have Speed Death O. And a seal such as Attack Death Bond, Speed Death Bond, Death Rest Bond, a defensive, a defensive seal. And these two armor units on the other corner of the map, everyone have, you know, everyone has reposition. Everyone. The two armor units, they have Bolt Fighter. Hector with Pavis, Mamori with Escutcheon. And you notice Mamori and Hector, they also cancel follow-up. They should also have a ward armor and a defensive seal. The purpose of this defense team, a stall team, is to make you waste turn chasing them. Duma is very important here for two reasons. First, he is an armor unit. I will explain why later. The second reason, much more important, he destroys Bow Tower. Everyone now complains about Duolene Florina slaying everything, including Kevline. I believe Bow Tower is no less dangerous than Duolene. Why do you think everyone has Bow Tower? There is a reason. Because Bow Tower is you know, it feels like cheating. It's, it's too strong. This is why Duma is so good for your defense. 
So you have double Duma. So you destroy the bow tower. You, are, you have also noticed I have two strong columns of buildings. Why? I want you to waste turn chasing them. This is why I separate my team into two different duos across the map. If I stack everyone in one single strong solid rectangle, maybe you have a one bow tower hitting two columns and avoiding Duma. And you can smite your super tank killing everyone in one single turn. This is bad for me. The good thing with armor units is that they move one space. If you bait actor with green tank, brave actor will be badly hurt. He moved one space, Mamori used reposition. And now Mamori is facing the green tank. If you go over here, to attack Roy, same thing happened. Roy faces a blue tank and now reposition Arm and Arm next turn will face the blue tank. If you go here or go through the middle, the nice thing is that Brave Actor moves one space, Memory moves one space and use reposition and they are both back to the original position. Same thing with Duma. If you attack Roy and Arm, Duma moves here, and this Duma moves here, use reposition, and they are back to their original position. They are not moving, they cannot chase you, because they move only one space. As explained, this map is made for you to waste time chasing everyone. It is also why I need Bo uh, Duma to destroy your bow tower. You have probably noticed why I do not have a real bow trap. If I have a real bow trap, you will make use of it to destroy my units, which is bad for me. So I know exactly what I am doing. Imagine Frazier is a bonus mythic. Everyone knows Frazier is good for defense. And you might think it's good to replace the second Duma by Frazier. What happens? Frazier suicide against Fallen Ike. You lose one unit for free. And you cannot have a second Duma using reposition loop. And this is kind of bad for me. So now you understand the purpose of this defense. You know that changing mythics over time according to bonus rotation is not that good if it makes your defense weaker. So again, if double dancer with old recovery works really well and I think it will work pretty well, there's no reason for you to change. So, now that you understand uh, my argumentation, we can start talking about odd recovery. It cancels penalties within two spaces, only for allies. If Veronica has odd recovery and Veronica has debuffs herself, she keeps the debuffs. She cannot remove debuffs from herself. One problem some people have noticed is that odd recovery cancel restore. Veronica has no restore target and you can bait Veronica with no C disrupt Brave Ike. And Veronica has no choice but to attack and suicide against Brave Ike. Well, there is still a problem with this argumentation because even if it is true that Restore Trap is not working anymore. The Dance is working because Isolation is cancelled and that means Rally Trap also is working. 
If you know how the AI works, it prioritizes defense time. The good thing about no seed disrupt is that so far it is color coded as green. Fallen Leon, Brave Ike. Lilina is red, she has broadly fan. I have infantry scope. Triandra inflict guard and strong debuffs. So Lilina moves here, get danced by one of these Triandra. And very likely she will attack Brave Ike and kill Brave Ike. And now what happens? Lilina stands here, meaning Veronica no longer has enemy target. If, for example, you have Bernadetta with a wrist, she inflicts herself one damage. So there is only one target for Veronica, and this is Bernadetta. She goes here and heals Bernadetta. The second Triandra use aerobatics, dance Veronica, and now Veronica kills someone. Why? Because typically AR offense players use four structures at least. They always use bow tower, always. And the second structure is a bonus structure. Sometimes they also use panic or tactics rooms or healing tower. And very often also they use six buildings. Considering that Light Season will also have six units in AR offense, they cannot hide their units. They will have to place one unit over here. Almost guaranteed. So they will die. I have this setup this week. Earlier I had some kind of this setup. I had this setup for earlier weeks. And it works the same way. You would think the only safe column is Yun because she cannot attack this spot. I want you to think this is a safe column, but this is not true. Eventually, it is possible that Lin goes here, or Lilina goes here, which means Yun triggers aerobatics and she kills Brave Lucina, Air, or Peony. Most of the time, people place a very weak unit in this area very, very, very often. And I can understand why. Because it's more convenient for them to make a cleanup next turn. So here, the same strategy, the same trap. I want you to think this column is safe so that you place a weak unit in this spot. So if one of these cavalry units moves here, it's game over. Yun will just kill you. And the same trap is happening here. As you can see, Yun cannot reach this spot, right? And there is also a tree. So you would think no one can move here. Uh, of course, you know this is wrong because as explained, Lilina moves here and she has now three potential targets, right? If, for example, instead of Bernadetta, you have a seven slot mythic and you keep Lin and Veronica has no restore target, she can move, you know, everywhere. She can move here or here or here. But again, you have also Lin. She can move here and get danced. So Lin, one, two, three. She hits that spot. This is definitely possible. This is why Double Dancer is so disgusting. You can notice here, I have two traps protecting Mia. Mia is very important because she's a duo unit. She protects you from these broken duo units. 
maybe with the exception of Duolin with Design Trap. Same strategies for this setup and this map. You bait Veronica, I have Rally on Lelena and Double Dancers. And eventually the 7 Mythic instead of Bernadetta. So everyone will have no debuffs, no isolation. And this Mythic unit, for example, with Wings of Mercy, if it's a ranged unit, Veronica eventually might restore this unit. This unit will jump here or here maybe and snipe someone. So again, you target Veronica and bait Veronica. Lilina moves here and she has three potential target. Others can also decide to move here, here or here and get danced. One problem, however, with a restore, I mean, with odd recovery, is that good players might understand something. If you kill Veronica turn 1, next turn, odd recovery disappears, and isolation works. So if you isolate both dancers, of course, they cannot dance, because Veronica now is dead. This is why, if you haven't noticed, I have a fortress, same column as Veronica. Because having the fortress here makes it more difficult to snipe Veronica. If I really need, I can do this, just in case. Because you need to protect Veronica from the good players. I do not believe the bad players will think about sniping Veronica turn 1. I don't think they will succeed. But the smartest player will make it happen. So now there is a problem. Um, this new meta of, you know, suicide attacks that might happen eventually because if AR offense players use the bonus mythic, we are allowed to sacrifice one unit. So you have to consider the possibility that they will make sacrifice plays. Look at these stats. The defense stats for all units, including mythics, they have very bad defense. Which means they are very weak against player phase units such as Duolin, Legendary Leaf, Vantage, and Winter Altina with Double Smite. Especially Duo Altina can be really nasty. I will explain. Why do you think in this defense I have two armor units and two infantry? Reason is very simple. If I have two Duma and two armor units here, and you use Duo Idun plus Duo Mikaya. You destroy everything. But they do not have armor weakness, which is good. They have damage reduction instead. Budding Bolin and Summer Strikers Mia share the same weakness. They get the damage reduction or impact in player phase if enemy tank them only if they tank if instead of lean for example you have Halloween Rove with Spentrit Bow Fury 4 or maybe ARD Death Res this guy survives effectiveness you cannot kill him he survives or you can also use Merlinus. I made a video about, you know, Merlinus. Uh, you can check the link in the description. Merlinus, courtly mask. Um, ARD, death res, or fury, or speed res. 
with God, this guy survived. Duolin, you cannot kill him. And he is also very good against Winter Altina. What do you think a bad player will do? Bad players don't care about taking the evil pots. They just want one thing. They want you dead. That's it. Good players know that if they double smite Altina and kill Mia, they can now activate Vantage with no HP condition. But the good thing about good players is that if you had odd recovery on Veronica, I assume a good player want to take at least one evil pot. Okay? One evil pot. Problem is, as you already know, odd recovery, remove, restore targets. Meaning Veronica cannot use ta cannot use restore because there is no debuff. So Veronica will have to make a suicide attack against Winter Altina, and a good player knowing this will think twice before double smiting Altina. And this is also why you need, instead of Lin sharing the same weakness as Mia. You need someone like Halloween Rolf or Courtly Mask Merlinus. Let's say you have Hardy Bearing Lilina. I assume Lilina will probably fail to one shot. Winter Altina by a few points. But when you look at all these units, probably Lilina is the one inflicting the most damage. The AI will move Lilina first, so she dies. There is no, no more RD bearing, so I lose maximum lift. However, if instead of Lin, I have Melinus, and Melinus survive Artina and cause a lot of damage with bonfire, the AI moves Melinus first, and now. Artina is badly hurt, Lilina can one shot Winter Artina, okay? Of course you can also assume that instead of Lilina, you can use ARD attack death Reinhardt. Reinhardt probably one shot Artina. But maybe you don't want to use Reinhardt or maybe the the, the threat is not Artina but someone else. So this is an example why you should uh, make variety with respect to the cavalries. You, you, you do not want them to share the same weakness. You do not want to have a budding bow on four caval cavalry, cavalry units. It's bad. Spendthrift is bow. Is good. Courtly Mask is good against player phase units such as again Leaf and Duolin. They protect you from aggressive plays. Remember, in this meta, people are now allowed to sacrifice units. You need at least one unit who can survive aggressive methods, aggressive plays. Uh, one thing I have to say, because I might forget later. Um, the restore is not working if there is no debuffs. Uh, let's say I, I use this setup. Veronica uh, apply the, applies the odd recovery. But Lin and Brandon Data, they are out of reach. And they lose 1 HP. And they have no debuffs. Okay, let's assume they have no debuffs. One thing you want to remember is that the restore trap is a restore only if there is a debuff. 
if there is no debuff, the healing applies not with respect to slot number, but with respect to the highest stat total. If between Lin and, Vero uh, Lin and Bernadetta, Lin has the highest stat total, she has the priority of the heal. So this is something you you have to keep in mind, just in case, when you make your defense. Also, one other thing you can do. You remember probably in Anima Season, the popular setup with Ground Order, uh, Ground Order's um, Mirabilis and Ruse skill, Frasier. Uh, which looks something uh, like this. This is Triandra with Ground Orders and this is Brahmimon with Ruse. So Brahmimon will uh, use Ruse, Triandra use Aerobatics and Dance. My Mia survives most of the time, the enemies, because one of his cav will have, you know, 45 cavalry. So plus 6 defense. She will have attack death solo. Lul attack speed. She survives quick repost. Most of the time. So she attacks. She survives. Bramimon stands here and now will make use of ground orders and kill someone here or here. Again, if Mia get hit by the second attack from quick repost, she has low HP. So one other unit, maybe 7 slot Mythic or Lilina with Wings of Mercy, they will activate Wings of Mercy and kill a second unit. Although I find this strategy interesting, I think it has some uh, a little weakness. I said it before in my other Kavlan videos, but I don't like the fact that it is possible for the rally trap to cause the rally unit not moving. If instead of baiting Mia, you bait Veronica, Bramimon use the ruse skill and he's not moving. So now Bramimon use ruse. And he get danced by Triandra. So both of these will not move. And now you have Veronica goes in, go here. Mia moves here. Lilina moves here. Lin moves here. And the seven slot mythic moves here. And now that means one, two, three, four calves. Separated from the three mythic units. And this is bad for you because that means turn two, you can snipe all four cavalry units and you have the time to collect the pots because the three mythics are not moving they are far away what i like with my setup is that everyone moves south very close to the enemy and they cover for everyone for example when i have lilina here the Good thing is that she moves here, causing Yun to use aerobatic and snipe someone for free. But that means if next turn you want to kill Yun, Lilina is covering for Yun. You kill Yun, but next turn Lilina is killing you because she has such a wide coverage. So you probably don't want don't want in this current meta that allows one unit loss for free. You do not want three mythics uh, staying far behind. You want everyone to stay close together so they can cover for each other range. So if you want to attack Veronica, you want Ramimon to be somewhere here. And Bramimon will send a message. You can kill 
Veronica. If you kill her, now I will kill you next turn. So yes, you can use, as illustrated, many different setups. But I think, really, you should go for double dancers. And... Free Mythics. Because, again, Free Mythics add more HP. And if you have one strong, bulky cavalry such as Melinus or Rolf, having more HP is, I mean, it feels safe. Because you never know, Altina can be buffed, strongly buffed. Um, Duoling can be strongly buffed. She can be crazy, crazy fast. Eventually, maybe, even with ARD speed res, Melinus will not avoid a quadruple attack from Duoling. If Melinus cannot survive, this is bad, you know. Because if you want to use Melinus, it's really because you want to avoid and protect yourself against aggressive strategies. So having free mythics is good. Probably it is better than two mythics, five cavalry units. And the other reason, as I explained, is because double dancers with odd recovery is definitely strong, super super strong, regardless of a bonus season mythics. So yeah, I think that sums up uh, everything I wanted to say. So yeah, thanks for watching.